Lily Collins, who is the daughter of music legend Phil Collins, was one of the celebrity guests Tuesday's installment of The Late Late Show which is hosted by James Corden. During her appearance on the CBS chat show, the 32-year-old actress was asked about her famous father's links with the royal family. Reflecting on her childhood in England, the Emily in Paris star opened up on an embarrassing moment with Prince Charles when she was a youngster. Lily was invited on The Late Late Show to talk about the second season of Netflix Emily in Paris which recently landed on the streaming giant. However, the interview took an unexpected turn into the star's childhood when James, 43, showed viewers a photograph of Lily in her mother Jill Tavelman's arms giving a bouquet to the late Princess of Wales. The actress, who was just a toddler at the time of meeting Lady Diana, recalled how she tried to pull the flowers from the princess. She then revealed how she lobbed a toy telephone at Prince Charles' head when she was a young girl. A place in the sun buyer breaks down over decision for move when James asked Lily if she remembered what was happening when the photo with Diana was taken, she said, I'm giving Diana flowers, but the second she went to take them I then tried to pull them back. She then opened up on her royal encounter with Prince Charles and embarrassingly explained, I was also told that when I was younger, I was playing with some toys with Prince Charles and I proceeded to kind of throw something at him like a toy telephone at his head. The talk show host wondered how old she was at the time of the alleged phone throwing, and she replied by saying she was about two years old. Lily explained to James her father, who was in the rock band Genesis, was involved in the Prince's Trust and she grew up in England. The American-British actress quipped she must have had a tendency to do naughty things as a two-year-old. Lily also spoke about Emily in Paris returning for an all-new series following the success of its first season. However, she revealed she noticed an Emily in Paris poster she saw in New York City while on a walk with her father over the festive period had been vilely defaced. James showed viewers a picture of Lily standing in front of the vandalized poster which showed her character's eyes and nose had been painted red. East Tenders exit, why has Priya Dabra left role as a Kra Ahmed? Spoiler Lily Collins net worth, how much is Phil Collins' daughter worth? Explainer Phil Collins' daughter Lily, 32, speaks out on past issues with dad, insight, the star joked, I was given a whole new makeup job. Why not embrace it? After shrugging off the vandalism, Lily said the second season of Emily in Paris has been well received by the French. Lily, who has also starred in Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile alongside Zac Efron, previously opened up about how other stereotypes were addressed in the series. She recently told LUK, for me as Emily, but also as a producer, after season 1. Hearing people's thoughts, concerns, questions, likes, dislikes, just feelings about it, there were certain things that spoke to the time that we're living in and what is right, moral and correct and should be done. I wanted diversity and inclusion in front of and behind the camera to be something that we really put our focus on. The second series ended on a cliffhanger which has left fans wondering if a third season is already in the works, however, Netflix has not yet confirmed whether Emily in Paris has been picked up for another series. Emily in Paris can now be watched on Netflix.